Good morning! Another day, another sunrise, another mountain. We are climbing over Blood Mountain right now, heading into Neil Gap this morning. So about a seven mile hike in, hopefully get there around 11, do some phone charging and food shopping, and keep on going. made it to the top of Blood Mountain. Beautiful view. Got a shelter up here. Still early in the day. And it's all downhill from here. Alright, back to civilization. We are just getting into Neil Gap and the Outfitter. Famous internet YouTubers <laughs> to give me advice on my YouTube channel that I have yet to. I'm getting ready. Yeah. I'm getting ready. All right. But I hate seeing myself on camera. The, most, oh, the more oh skin, God. the more skin you show, the more views you get. So oh, if, you want, if you want me to higher. flash a little for wait, you, no, you go up a little higher. Oh yeah. Wait. Can I get my zoom in? Okay. Get to, I don't know if you can see all the shoes hanging from the tree, but this is everybody who quit at Neil's Gap. Doing some food shopping to get us through for another couple days. Say anything. Oh no, you're good. I just wanted to look at my junk food. And this is the best of the best at Neil Gap. We got some frozen pizza that was heated up for us. And I couldn't wait to video until I ate a piece. So we are just about to head out of Neil Gap, I think. We just stopped for a couple hours, ate a shitload of pizza, some Coca-Cola, got some more food for the next day or two, and are charging our devices right now. So I think we're gonna do another six or seven miles and set up camp tonight. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, hike all day tomorrow, get into Hiawassee on Sunday morning. So, that is that. We'll see you then. So the pizza was a terrible idea. So far the hiking's been all uphill. And all I can feel is pizza and coke in my stomach. So we are at Bags Creek tent site, I think. At mile just over 35 on the AT. Um, it is supposed to rain tonight, so hopefully my tent holds up. No shortage of firewood, according to Ibutat. <laughs> um, I had a hell of a time setting up my tent again, but after he let me borrow a couple of his tent stakes, I realized that my tent stakes blow, so I will be getting new ones the first chance I get. Um, what else? The water source is little to none, but I did get some water and wash my clothes a little bit. Um, had a hell of a time hanging my bear bag again. <laughs> it is not very well done, but it is in a tree. So, we are gonna chill for the night, and I think we have rain to look forward to tomorrow. See you then. Good morning. It is cold, wet, and muddy this morning. So between eating Spam and cheese in a tortilla last night, and packing up camp in the pouring rain this morning. I'm starting to feel like a real hiker. So, as you can see, I've stuffed my hair into my rain jacket because my number one priority today is to keep my hair dry so that I don't die of fucking hypothermia tonight. It's supposed to get down to like the 20s, I think, tonight, where we're gonna be staying. So, we are doing 14.5 miles to Blue Mountain. I'm gonna camp there and then have a quick hike into Hiawassee tomorrow morning. See you later. First viewpoint of the day. We are loving the fog. We're going to 14 miles. So we got, what, 11 miles to go? Sure. <laughs> All right, we 
set up camp for the night. Abby Tat's eating his fucking goldfish. I got a slight addiction to these things now. Gross. You bite my fucking tent. <laughs> I set up my tent and I did not throw it off the side of the fucking mountain. And now we're gonna go get water. Special delivery, this is uh, Jack Daniels and apple cider. No fucking Jack Daniels in here. Oh, hot apple cider, miss. Oh, thank you. You're quite welcome. Don't burn your shit on that, because you already burned the roof of your fucking mouth from that pizza. Oh, uh, I know. It's healed, though, now. Ibitat's keeping me alive tonight, because it's fucking cold. What's up, everybody? It is 5 o'clock, and I'm in my sleeping bag already, because it is fucking cold out. I sort of had dinner. I had some Slim Jims, if that counts. I whooped Ivy Tat's ass at Rummy. Oh, <laughs> but he just learned, so we'll give him a break for now. Um, going to drink up this amazing cider that he brought me so I don't freeze to death and hang my food bag and go the fuck to bed. So we will catch you tomorrow. So last night was rough. It was really cold. I think that's how you get over claustrophobia. I wasn't really liking my mummy bag, but when it's a choice between that and freezing your ass off, you suffocate in your mummy bag. So anyways, got through the night. Pretty sure a mouse ran across my tent. Not positive, but that kept me up a little bit. Slept all right though, considering. Uh, the cold drained the hell out of my battery, so I'm gonna make this quick, but anyways, Got up this morning and my food bag was frozen, so it took a little bit to just like get the knot off of the stick. And then when I hoisted the bag up all the way to do that, the bag got stuck in the tree. So after about half hour of me trying to fuck with it and throwing rocks at it and jiggling it around, I finally woke up Ivy Tat and it only took him about five minutes, but he figured it out. So he saved my food and my toiletries and I owe him for that one. Anyway, it's fucking cold but it is beautiful out here this morning. We got a quick couple mile hike to Unicoi Gap. See you later. So Ivy Tat had to go back to the campsite to get his bear bag hanging line because he forgot it. And this is now the second time that he has left something behind and made me wait with all his shit while he goes back to get it. So, I think we're even for him getting my food bag this morning. Got it! <laughs> so that's the third time I've had to backtrack. So now I've officially hiked farther on the AT this year than any goddamn person out here. <laughs> Congratulations! <sighs> Forgot my fucking bear line, God damn it. <laughs> This is Blink, and he told me a story the other night that I just thought was freaking awesome, talking about sobriety. All right, so I was hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail, and I was going about 40 miles in between water sources, and the last 10 miles I ran out of water in the desert, and so I was really dying. It was like 92 degrees out, and I came across this road, and there was a, I don't know, a big tub there, so I opened it up, and I was hoping that there was going to be some water in there, but all there was was one beer left in that tub and I'd been sober for about I don't know three years at the time and I was dying of thirst and there wasn't even like water melted from the ice that kept it cold or prior and I was just looking at it like fuck, fuck. <laughs> and uh I for I forewent it but uh yeah but that whole time I was thinking like I was dying I was like man I should just drank that beer I could have died you know <laughs> I could be dying right now <laughs> is it worth it still sober today still sober today how long now uh roughly five years awesome <laughs> Very cool, thank you. No problem. Welcome hikers. We are at the top of Georgia Hostel. Y'all need a set or anything? Yes, I do. Oh, awesome, that's perfect timing. <laughs> we are in downtown Hiawassee. Is that how you say it right now? And 
We just had some bomb Mexican food. And we are in hospital scrubs at the moment because the hostel is doing our laundry. Now I'm gonna go food shopping. This is what my first resupply looks like. I think I have way too much for five days, but we shall see. So it's the end of day six. I am at the top of Georgia hostel right now in Hiawassee, and it's amazing here. We hiked into Unicoi Gap this morning. They picked us up with a shuttle and brought us straight here. And then we got a shower. As you can see, I'm wearing scrubs. We paid five bucks and they washed all our clothes for us. Um, and then this afternoon they shuttled us into town so that we could go out to eat and grocery shop and all that good stuff. And then shuttled us back to the hostel. Um, right now I'm drinking some hot chocolate, sitting in a rocking chair on the back deck and it's beautiful. So I think I'm gonna conclude this video tonight. We are jumping back on the trail tomorrow and gonna make some miles. So I will catch you on the next one. And by the way, I feel like I'm bad at this vlogging thing. There is so much that goes on in a day and I'm not showing half of it. So if there's anything specific that you wanna see or questions that you have, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Obviously service is limited, but I'm sure you're sick of me just talking at the camera. So let me know and I'll catch you next time. Bye.